welcome to learning on nano testing today we are going to discuss about what is under nano testing what is the importance of going for nano testing before jump into the topic we have to know what we done pay software testing what is meant by software testing so you see here there is a word test so let's take the real time examples of test in real world as by my knowledge we have used the word test in personal v exams okay what we'll do in exams i think we'll do actions on on required questions okay and the second one will be test reports what in the test reports so which one will lab reports right so we'll go for lab report test to lab reports test lab reports and when we when you feel any problem in your body you'll go for test lab reports why you are going to test test lab report means there is a problem on system okay so if the result shows positive that means a typhoid or malaria positive which shows there is a problem in your system so what we'll do we'll take medications which is nothing but we'll go for corrective actions so depending upon reports depending upon reports we'll do corrective actions and the third one will be real time example will be when you want to take any bike or going for any taking any vehicle go for test drive what is agenda of going for test drive is nothing but we have few requirements with the requirements if the requirement fulfills when we driving a car or a vehicle we'll mainly focusing on the quality standards of a vehicle the performance of a vehicle right so we'll do quality checks we'll do quality checks okay so this is very very important quality the word quality so let be written in and caps so without quality we can't take any vehicle or anywhere so obvious we want to take any product we'll always go for quality products branded products because it will give long period service so that's why the quality matters here so these are few examples where i have seen the word test in real world so come to the definition of going for software testing so so let's take the let's combine all the things and derive a simple example simple derivation for software testing so software testing is nothing but it is a process of or written here correct to rest so let me correct you with the process of correctness of the application which gives a quality product so this is a basic definition for software testing okay so what i would derive the definition is i will take in real time examples and depending upon the real time examples only i have derived the definition of software testing so now why we need software testing so 
by rules of testing so as per the definition we know we should have we should get a quality product which has to be fulfilled with our needs so let's take an example of five minutes of testing let us consider customer or client or users has given an application to check how it behaviors okay so real, let's take a real time example of if customer wants wants an social media social uh, um, social media okay so let's consider if uh, let's take an example this is only uh, first example example is if customer needed social media url is www.gmail.com okay for this dev team which means not developers created a web page social media web page social media on red created a social media web page as yahoo page so in that case if a customer sees so my url social media url is www.gmail.com but developers given yahoo page so there is a problem because for this social media url we should we should get the, the gmail page only but here developers given yahoo page obvious customer will ask uh, for my social media url why you created yahoo page in that case developer can give a reason that so you you receive you you want a social media right so for your social media url i have created a social media web page only but as per the, my expectations i should get gmail so which is nothing but when we don't have any soft testing places in between customers to developers so we won't achieve what we need so i need is here is gmail but uh, i got yahoo page so in that case in that case in that case we need we need software testing so why we are why we need software testing nothing but my question is if it doesn't have software testing what will happen so these are the few problems customer will think one thing one side but developer can develop created a new application which is not satisfied with the customers so the, for the first example i can write what we expect should come so in order to to achieve this we should need a software testing and the second example will be so when we dealing with the devices let's consider we have different different devices in real world laptop mobiles it's android mobiles or iphone or windows phone anything so if i open gmail in any android mobile it can be lenovo or the redmi or oppo the gmail application will be same irrespective of the devices when i go from iphone also it's the same when i'm going for windows also it will be the same when i'm going for laptop also it will be the same when i go for ipod also it will be the same so who has done these type of checks obvious there should be a team to check the application should work irrespective of any devices so the first one is application should work irrespective of any devices not only devices application should work irrespective of 
any browsers also oh, so we have different different browsers ie which is nothing but mother of the browsers and chrome mozilla firefox safari uc browser so we have different different browsers if i open any application in any browser let's take www.andrabank.com www.gmail.com www.google.com anything any url the basic urls if i use any urls the application should work irrespective of any browsers so the application should not show any differences if i using different different browsers so application should work irrespective of devices and as well as browsers and also we have another difference are there irrespective of operating systems also so we have different different operating systems that's nothing but windows linux or unix red hat ubuntu and the basic is android which is using in our mobiles and ios we use the basic application if any basic application using in any operating systems it should work well, this is nothing but see here how many permutation and combinations are there for any application so application has to be checked thoroughly in different devices different browsers and different operating systems these number of checks has to be performed before delivering or before the application go to real world so who have done these type of checks we are the people we have done thorough checks which is nothing but checking in different devices taking different browsers and giving in different operating systems obvious that's why we need software testing and the basic another example is so when we dealing with results so let's consider we have an exam conducted any by central government or anything so if the uh, if the results are announced so we'll have different different problems here so earlier uh, 10 years back so when any result has been published in uh, browsers or in serial servers it will be very slow right now everyone is using high technologies so there is no uh, slowness in any of any applications which is nothing but we have come up with uh, n number of solutions to bring the uh, servers uh, as fast as possible so if i use application if, let us consider in my in my laptop if i use two or three applications at a, at a time my my laptop will become slow if i use 10 application it will be, become more slow okay so nothing but application behavior changes if it is used by one people or it will used by many people which is nothing but but in real world the application should not go down which is nothing but if it is using by one people or whether it is using by millions of people the application should always up and running only then who has done this subject and these type of checks which is nothing but if application using by 100 people if the application using by 11 10000 people the application using by 1 lakh of people application should work uh, irrespective of it is using by one people or it is using by millions of people so these type of checks have to be performed by the software testing team only so another example is application should work irrespective of sorry irrespective of one to many users so these are basic examples why we need software testing in real world so basically if you see the definition you see the definition it is the process of correctness of the application which means if i found any problems in the application i try to go for corrective actions and i will try to rectify those problems with the application and deliver a quality product so which is nothing but which why we have problems 
this is going to try to remove the problems right so why we have problems in the application why we have the problems can be derived here it is defects in the application so that for this uh, we will take a real time example why we have defects in the application so we'll take the real time example uh, why we met with accidents why we met with accidents so the main cause for the accidents is nothing but over speed why we are going over speed is nothing but we have a target to reach the destination as soon as possible it's nothing but there's a time pressure in your in your brain to reach the destination as soon as possible same like so developer has uh, given not given enough time to write his code or qa team doesn't give uh, to, uh, qa team and the software testing team doesn't given enough time to complete the testing so basically if an application if an, if an application requires five days of uh, work to complete the development part but customer is forced to complete this in two days so there should be a time pressure for the developers to complete the coding as soon as possible which means there should be a leakage of um, code logics so which leads to the defects in the application first one is the time pressure not giving the ample of time to complete the work so with the time pressure which leads to the defects in the application and the and the second example for why we met with accidents nothing but not following the traffic rules if you are uneducated we won't follow the traffic rules if we are educated we know how to follow traffic rules nothing but uneducated unskilled resources unskilled resources nothing but let's consider the developer is very one one developer is very familiar with java application but he has given a dot and application to, to write a code in that case he doesn't have any skill set for to write the code and dot net which leads to the defects which leads to the problems in the application and third one the third one will be basic example why we met with accidents is nothing but so i may go in a correct way but if anyone is coming in wrong way which leads to the accidents so which is nothing but the miscommunication between my vehicle and to to the other vehicle which is nothing but miscommunications oh, which is nothing but between teams which is nothing but customers given one requirement developer has thought the requirement in different manner so which leads to the miscommunication between the teams or else developer has given some logic but qa team has understood another logic so this miscommunication can leads to defects in the application so these are the basic examples why we need uh, why we have defects in the application so that's it for the day thank you